easy steps on how to take pictures of yourself by yourself. What's up guys? It's your girl NT here and that stands for Natalia, Natalia Taylor. Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell icon if you'd like to get that notification every single time I post. Occasionally we do advice videos on modeling and photography and how to look like you have your life together, even if you don't. Today I will be giving you my five tips on how to take photos for your Instagram by yourself. It's a very strategic strategic process. Let me know if this has ever been you. You're hanging out with a group of friends, you're looking really cute, and you want to get a pic for the gram. But you don't want to be that girl that asks for an Instagram photo so you miss the opportunity. Or how about scenario number two? You finally get up the courage to ask for a photo only for your friend slash boyfriend slash whoever to take only one, only one, very mediocre, non-salvageable picture of you and hand your phone back and carry on with their life. That was a complete waste of my time, thank you. Or for the dreaded scenario number three, you ask someone to take a photo. They take one and ask you if you like it. You don't wanna be rude, but you have to be honest because you want a good photo. So you ask them to take more and it's just a perpetual downward spiral of them taking a million photos where you don't like any of them until eventually they just get tired of your shit and they hand you your phone back saying the words, I know you have a good one in there somewhere, making you crawl back into your little turtle shell, never wanting to ask anyone to take a photo of you ever again. If any of those scenarios have ever been you, that is why I'm making this video. Five tips on how to take Instagram pictures of yourself by yourself. Tip number one, and this actually might be the most important tip out of all of them, so if you're gonna listen to any part of this video, listen to this. I'm tired, I'm tired. tired of seeing girls say up their phones on the timer. I feel like I can always tell when a photo was taken with a timer. It just always looks like there was a big buildup to that moment. But I'm telling you, ladies, forget setting your phone up on the desk. Forget the timers, okay? This is going to change your life, and I have to give credit where credit is due. I would not have this product, I wouldn't have even heard of it if it weren't for the YouTuber Tara O'Neill. I saw a video of her using it, and I had to get it for myself. This video is not sponsored, by the way. This is not something that someone paid me to talk about. No one contacted me to try and sell this on my channel. This is something I actually bought for myself and discovered that it was a huge life hack. It changed my Instagram game and it's something that you people should know about. It's this little thing right here. It is like a tripod and a Bluetooth remote. I bought this on Amazon. I think it was like $13 and what it comes with is this tripod for your phone. It's like a grippy bendy tripod and I don't know if you guys can see this but this little Bluetooth remote that connects to your phone it's good for iOS and Android see it even lights up so what you do is you connect your iPhone or your Android to this Bluetooth remote device and you can set up your phone in this little tripod yes and you press the button on the remote and it takes pictures of you so essentially with this device, you're allowing yourself the freedom of taking photos of yourself whenever you want, not just when you're with a buddy, and the freedom of not having to worry about setting up a timer. But the remote and the tripod come together. Like I said, they're just on Amazon. I'll leave them linked down in the description. If you wanna try this out for yourself, like I said, it's changed my life. It's amazing how something this simple can make that big of a difference. But do you guys see how this tripod bends all sorts of different ways? This is really nice because the way I use it is I connect this tripod to a taller tripod. That way my phone isn't sitting on the ground. Or like, I don't have to worry about finding a ledge or a desk or a chair or something to set this higher up off the ground. I can literally just wrap it around a regular tripod. Which leads me into tip number two when it comes to taking photos of yourself. This is a huge pet peeve of mine. Again, maybe not for you, but for me, I can always tell when someone is taking a photo of themselves by themselves when their phone is set up at a really, really low angle. Like it looks like it was on the ground. You guys know the classic, I'm sitting down, but I look posed pose. I don't even wanna say it, but you're doing the dreaded, are you ready? 
low angle. So allow me to elaborate myself even further on the topic, if you may. If you are a person that likes to pose like this, by all means, don't stop posing like this just because I said I don't like it. I don't like it for the reason that it's obvious that you took the photo yourself. Even if someone else was taking the photo, the low angle always appears that you set your phone up on the ground. I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea just because I sound like I'm being dramatic about other people posing. It's because I am. It's because I'm passionate about this subject and that's just the way I talk about things that I'm passionate about. So if you clicked on this video and you have posed like this in a picture before, my goodness, we all have. You can continue to do so if you damn well please. I'm just trying to make everyone aware of what this looks like. It looks like you took it yourself. But if you're taking a picture by yourself, you should probably try and set your phone up a little bit higher. Don't attack me. It's just my opinion and I'm telling you how you look. If that's what you're into, that's fine. That's the beauty of having free will. But I'm just saying, if you want your pictures to look better, raise up your damn camera. And for you, if that means finding something that you can sit your phone on that's around eye level, that would be great. Like I said, I use this thing on a tripod. It doesn't really matter. As long as you're aware that the lower angles make you look like you took it yourself. And if that's what you like, ignore everything that I just said. Tip number three for taking photos by yourself. This one does not count if you don't own the tripod and the remote, but it's just hide the remote when you're taking the picture. No one wants to see you pointing a remote at your phone, smiling and posing. Like, no, put it in your hair and like, I don't know, do something cute, but don't have this beeping blue light remote show up when you're taking the photo because it will beep blue in the photo. I'm pretty sure I have a couple examples of where I didn't hide the remote well enough and you can see there's a flashing strange blue light coming from my fingernail. It's not ugly per se, it's just strange. Like, what is that? Just whatever you do, hide the remote. <laughs> I like doing those for the movement and then I just press the button like whenever I think the right time is. That's what I love about like having the button to do it instead of a timer because like I know what the right time is to press the button. And if you get the timing right, get a good action shot. Tip number four of taking amazing Instagram photos of yourself by yourself. Plan out ahead of time what sort of photos you're gonna be taking of yourself. That way you're not lugging around a tripod and a remote by yourself all around town looking crazy as hell. Not that there's any shame in that, I'm not gonna lie. I have done that a few times, but that's because I don't have any dignity. But for all of you guys out there that don't wanna look lame like me, just have a general idea in mind of where you wanna take the picture and what you want it to look like. That way you can get in and get out without looking crazy. Cause there's nothing more attractive. Oh, cause there's nothing more attractive than a girl with a tripod taking photos of herself. Am I right? Might as well just like take the shorts all the way off because that is less awkward. Yeah. Next time I'll probably choose a location that isn't so public. Your girl's gotta get some Instagram ammo. I don't know what you want me to do. And last but certainly not least, tip number five when it comes to taking your own Instagram photos. This is no tea, no shade, but we all know that one person that found a really good spot that they love to take pictures at and then they just do it all the time. Like every single time they upload a picture, it's in that spot because they're comfortable there. I am 100% guilty of doing this by the way. Try not to be that girl because once you start doing that, then people start to catch on. Yeah, she's probably taking those pictures herself, which is honestly nothing to be ashamed of. If you don't care, then by all means do it. But for me, I would rather have my pictures that I take look a little more natural where you can't really tell which ones I took and which ones someone else did. So I try not to repeat the same spot too many times in multiple different outfits on multiple different days with literally the same exact angle. <laughs> we all know someone that's done this before. Me. I'm that someone. Try your best to switch it up as much as you can. That way your pictures that you take look a little more natural and it is harder to tell if you took them by yourself. I've gotten a lot better at this. I guarantee if you scroll through my Instagram, you guys cannot tell which ones I took by myself and which ones someone else took. So there you guys have it. Those are my five tips and tricks on how to take some killer Instagram pictures of yourself by yourself. But I challenge you guys to try these tips at home and if you do, tag me on Instagram and I'll let you know.
what I think. But if you're feeling up to it and you think you're an expert, try and find a photo on my Instagram that you think I took of myself. And if you're right, I'll follow you back. But if you like these modeling slash photography how-to videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and check out this playlist right here of all of my how-tos. Also, I will leave this thingy linked down in the description if you want to check it out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I thoroughly hope you enjoyed, but most of all, I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. God bless you. Bye!